Hey there, I'm Janelle from Emmeline and today I'm going to show you how I install these magnetic snaps into my wallets and bags. Okay, so let's grab a piece of fabric. This will be our fabric for our outer wallet or bag. The fabric that you use is usually interfaced. This one has some fusible Thermoland Plus fleece on it to give it some nice thickness and durability. If you don't have this on your project or an interfacing fused on, you really should just fuse on a piece of stabilizer to put your magnetic snap on. You could use some Decor Bond, some Decaville, Peltex, any of those work well. But since I've already got the fleece on here, I don't need to add any additional interfacing. If it's a heavy wear and tear area, I might want to have some interfacing in between the fleece and fabric layers just to make sure that it's strong enough for our magnetic snap. Now magnetic snaps come with a front and a back. The male side, the one with the little nubbin on it, is uh, the piece that goes on the flap of the bag uh, that folds over and opens and closes. And the female side, this pretty one with the hatch marks, it's on the body of the bag. They also come with two washers and these washers slide over the back and the prongs fold down. All right, so we're going to mark our washers placement on the back of our fabric. You can do it on the front if you like, but if you're doing it on the front, make sure you use a pen that erases or comes off with heat. I've already got some marks here. I've measured from my pattern the distance from the top of the fabric down to where the placement is. All of your pattern directions will, will provide this to you and I can put my washer right over top of the center dot and with a pen mark the slots that I'm going to cut for the prongs. A customer of, of mine gave me a great tip so you don't cut too far and wreck your fabric. So basically you just put a pin across there and that's gonna be your sort of break. So you can put your, um, your seam, rip, seam ripper in and cut straight up and we'll stop right at the pin. And you don't need to make these prongs too big. They just need to be big enough for the size of this prong to go through and even a little bit smaller because if it's snug, that's okay. It works, it keeps it all nice and tight. All right, so just test it for fit. And once you know that you've got a good fit there, you can actually go ahead and use some Dritz Fray Check on these slots that you've just cut. And you can use a little bit of glue on the back of your magnetic snap piece. I like to put a little bit of glue in here and smear it around. I use our E. 6000 glue it dries clear and it works wonderful for every application we have with our bag hardware so we'll put that in now if we just put our washer over like this we're not going to get a very tight fit so i like to put a couple pieces of fleece over top you can use felt for this or um, anything that's going to just provide a little bit of thickness here and that helps your magnetic snap gets super tight into there. Without that, you'd have a bit of a gap. So the trick is to push that washer down absolutely as far as you can, and then bend the prongs over. Use a screwdriver, not your scissor tips, ask me how I know, and bend those prongs over right at the very base. Getting in at the base will make sure that it's nice and tight. So one side, and then the other and then push them both down you can hammer that down if you like but if you're going to do that make sure the other side is protected you don't want to scratch that and you don't want to hammer it away on something that's hard and and wreck your magnet now you could trim this down a bit if you like or or leave it as is put a piece of interfacing over top and press that down and that'll fuse or you can glue it if it's not fusible. Some people use a little patch of leather. In fact, some people use a patch of leather as a washer behind here to help the fabric from tearing and it keeps it really nice and strong. After you do that, your magnetic snap is installed. Another neat thing that you could do is sew a square seam around here 
and that will hold all of these pieces together nice and firmly and create a lot of strength in that area. So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If so, please click like and subscribe to our video series. You can get all of our products, including locks just like this in six finishes, copper, gold, antique brass, nickel, gunmetal, and our iridescent rainbow on our website at mlinebags.com.